He was known as the crazed hummingbird. But Billy McKinney was a wildcat through and through. Those of us privileged to see Billy McKinney play saw a talented, high-scoring ball of energy who made the players around him better. He was the embodiment of Northwestern. He came from Zion Benton Township High School to Evanston, intent on changing the history of Wildcat basketball. And undoubtedly, he did. Today is a special day in the history of Northwestern athletics. This honor, the first jersey retirement in the 173 year history of the university, has been earned by an extraordinary player and a remarkable human being. Before there was a shot clock, before there was a three-point line, when there were 10 teams in the Big Ten, Billy McKinney was scoring an NU record 1,900 points, starting 98 consecutive games and leading the Wildcats to upsets over number seven Kentucky in the 1976 season and a year later over number two Michigan. But those of us privileged to know Billy for half a century know a man who was much more than a college basketball and baseball player. A sixth round pick in the NBA draft, he would play nearly 500 games for five teams, including the Bulls, where he began a three decade career as an NBA executive and eventually answered the call to his hometown of Zion, where he was elected mayor in 2019. If you were there in Salt Lake City in 2017 when the Wildcats made their first trip to the NCAA tournament, you saw a proud Wildcat with tears in his eyes as he spoke to the players before that first game. As a player who was there that day recalled, his message was, now that we're here, let's win. And they did. And if you look carefully, you'll see the bond that's been established between Billy and today's team how much the players enjoy being around him and the respect they have for a man who helped lay the groundwork for the success they're enjoying today. Almost 40 years to the day that he last wore number 30 for the Wildcats, a living legend, Billy McKinney's love for Northwestern knows no bounds. And today, we return that love. Forever a Wildcat legend, number 30, Billy McKinney. Well, I've got uh, two minutes to say something that I just lost $20 to one of my friends because I said I wasn't going to cry today. <laughs> but how could I not? To be honored this way by Northwestern University and recognized for my contributions to this school's basketball program, I'd have to thank Dr. Greg, Chris Collins, and the administration for making all of this possible. I'm so blessed to have a lot of my family members here today, high school coaches, college coaches, college teammates, players that played before me that set the path for me. Dan Davis, where are you? Rich Falk, Joe Rucklick, who is not here with us in body, but here in spirit. Jim Burns, the young man that I broke his scoring record, not here in body, but in spirit. 
Thank you for blazing a trail for me and showing me that good things were possible. I'd also like to thank Rich Falk, who recruited me here at Northwestern. When most people thought I was too small to play in the Big Ten, Coach Falk saw me play in a high school a tournament game and thought differently. We've got a 50-year friendship, Coach. This couldn't have happened without you. I also have to say that 60 years ago, today on February 24th, Coach Falk scored 60 points against these Iowa Hawkeyes and still a school record. 49 points. 49 points is still a school record. But as I close my remarks, I want to say this to everyone here. Take a look around at your neighbors. Look at the people next to you. What an art form does in terms of bringing people together. All races, creeds, colors, and nationalities. This is the United States of America. And when we leave here today, I ask you to do one thing. Enjoy the rest of this game, but also remember to treat our fellow man with great dignity and respect, regardless of their race, creed, or color, or nationality. Thank you. This is Wildcat Basketball.